Aralco's built-in report generator can give you access to all the various areas of the database in your system. In order to create your own reports, you will need some basic knowledge of where things are and which fields of information mean what. The Aralco training team can help you in this area. On the left, these are all the categories within the database. Here you can see the reports within each category. The system comes standardized with preloaded business reports. For example, in the Sales Reports folder, we can see the sales details by transaction report and the sales summary by grid report. When you've found a report that you like, but you want to modify it, you can take that report and use the filters, groups, columns, and options tabs to tweak it and find exactly the information you're looking for. Filters can show you the specific information you're looking for. For example, they can be used to show a specific date range of transactions. Groupings have the ability to organize the columns of information in a pre-decided group. For example, we could have a by store grouping. The columns would be the fields of information we see, such as transaction number, product code, name, picture, and so on as you see here. You can add any one of these variables or fields to a pre-made report. For instance, if you want to add a customer's postal code, you can take a look in this area for postal code, select it, and it will be added to the report. If there is a certain field that you want, you can type it in the search area, and the search will show you all of the instances where a postal code value is stored. If you would like to view this report again, with the modifications you've just made, click Save As and rename the report. It will be seen in the same category under your newly saved name. Another useful tool is to add it to My Favorites. You can highlight the report and click on the Favorites button here, where you will be prompted to choose which category the report will go under. After you've selected the category and clicked OK, you can click on the Favorites button here to view your favorite reports. If there are reports you view often, click on Recent Reports to see the ones you've recently viewed. Another useful feature is to have the reports you view frequently scheduled by clicking here. You'll be able to run the report at a preset time. You can also choose what date you would like the reports to start being run. To schedule a report, select the time and day you would like the report to start. The program will automatically fill out the subject and you can fill out a description and enter the email addresses you want the report sent to. In this drop-down menu, you can select if you want the recipient to receive the file in PDF, Excel, etc. Once this information has been selected, you can click on the Recurrence button to select when and how often the report will be sent out.